Hey guys, uh, wanted to make a quick video on an extremely important topic, which is motivation, getting things done, making things happen. I struggle with this for so many years uh, because of lies, just lies by people and, and the media and even people that are supposed to teach you self-development. The biggest lie to motivation is you have to love what you do to do it. Or alternatively, when you find what you love, you'll just do it. <laughs> and what happened was I found stuff I love, I started doing it, and I lost motivation, and I stopped. So I said, maybe it's stuff that I don't love. So I started doing stuff that I don't love. And that required actually uh, more motivation, and I couldn't do it again. So. I solved the motivation problem, okay? Nowadays, I'm doing massive, massive action on a daily basis, working with over 20 clients, raking in lots of money, success, friends, growing on a daily basis, uploading videos constantly, like tens of videos every day, uh, pictures, groups, whatever you want, making cold calls, uh, I'm taking just massive, massive action. And uh, the way that I've uh, fixed the problem, the way that I've solved the motivation thing is uh, by learning how it works. So there's actually a pendulum that you have to take care of because motivation is not just about uh, wanting to do something. Motivation is actually about a combination of wanting to do something and also responsibility. So it's actually a pendulum uh, where for you, for example, uh, have to do something, you have responsibility. Let's say that you have an assignment to do or you have a kid to take care of or your partner asked you to do something as a business partner. Now you have some responsibility. It basically, the pendulum swung to the side of responsibility and now you have to do it. So the motivation uh, doesn't mean, that have to mean that you want to do it. It just means you're emotionally compelled because maybe because you have to. So you create responsibility and then because you have to do it, you actually uh, do it. And then if you do it well, which is, you know, a really important part, that's why it matters to do something well also. Just not, not just do it, but also do it well. So if you do it well, you'll get motivated because of the success. And then you'll want to do it again, and then you'll want to do more. And so you'll take more responsibility. Now I'll give you a really good example from uh, uh, probably a client. Uh, this guy was supposed to close a $4,000 deal today. Um, he told me that uh, he has uh, major issues with motivation and uh, basically what I did, he wants to be a musician on top of uh, other things. So I told him, no problem, let's uh, start calling up places and actually booking uh, you to show up and, and perform. And he just went like, oh my god, oh my god, oh, wow, are you serious? Oh my god, oh my god. And I explained to him that the reason he did that reaction, even though he says he's not motivated, he doesn't have any motivation to do stuff, is because that's when it became real. Because intrinsically, you just know that if you're gonna say, I'm gonna come to an event and, sh and perform, uh, you basically create a, a responsibility. And, and that responsibility is gonna force you to practice your craft, to show up, to get things done. So you're not gonna do it out of passion. It's not gonna be like, oh my God, it's so fun. I just love showing up and, and, and doing music to people. It's, it's scary, it's shit, it just feels horrible. But you have to do it because you, you have to do it. You just said, I'm gonna do it, so you have to do it. And uh, that commitment is what creates the motivation at the beginning, because again, you have no choice. And what happens, what will happen is he will, uh, again, close the venue, come perform and see that it wasn't so bad. He was actually very good. People loved him and, you know, that will give him motivation. Why? Because wins create motivation. And what will happen then? He'll want to create more responsibility by showing up to more events and, and doing more music and, and working harder at his music and learning better and maybe even commit some more money to doing it. So again, you start with uh, the uh, the actual commitment, the actual responsibility. That leads you to, to take action out of uh, uh, having no choice because you committed. And then that will lead you to win and that will lead you to want to take more responsibility and it's basically a, a cycle. You alternate from responsibility to passion. And again, we've been fed this lie that it has to start with uh, motivation. And that's just 
not true. That's not true. Uh, motivation is built. It's not. Uh, it's not just existing. It's created. And uh, you'll usually notice that people who are successful say, "Oh, follow your passion. That's the secret." But the thing is, they're already successful. So. It's very, very uh, likely that many people that say that are just rationalizing uh, why they became successful uh, because it's very, very easy to become passionate about something you're good at. Like, let's say you find out that when you do public speaking, you just get tons of money and admiration and support. Uh, well, obviously, you're going to get more passionate about it. You're not going to you know, just say, oh, it's not really for me because we develop passions around things we we're good at and things that get us results. Uh, so, you know, it, it's a very mixed bag message. I mean, I, I wouldn't wait for something that you love or, or even rationalize that because the reason you're not getting what you want is because you don't love it enough. It's just stupid. Like, the reason you don't, you're not motivated is because you're not committed. If you're committed to getting it done, you'll have the motivation because you'd have no choice. And then if you actually do well and win, you'll have more motivation and you want to take more responsibility because when you win, you want more. That's just the way we work as people. So stop the cycle of not taking action. Stop the cycle of looking for external or fake internal motivation. Start setting some responsibilities. Again, you want to be a singer, start booking some venues. Sign up for a course. Do something that will force you to, to get things done, to actually start winning. You want to be you know, an entrepreneur? Go ahead and start doing cold calls. Commit to it. Do, do commitment to make it happen. The more responsibility, the more likely you are to take the necessary actions to get what you want in life, uh, which will actually lead to actual motivation. And why is that? Again, because wins create motivation. That is just the way things work. So I, I hope this message helps you. I hope this message taught you what you needed to know about motivation. Go get your ass committed. If you need help with that, just contact me, even apply for a free uh, uh, first strategy session, and I'd love to help you out. I'd love to make you amazing. Thanks for watching, and I hope you got a lot of value out of it.